Canada has lost a giant in journalism. Prolific columnist Christy Blatchford has died. Her career spanned nearly five decades where she worked as a reporter and columnist at four major newspapers. Blatchford was one of the first female sports columnists in North America. She became known for her tenacious coverage of crime and politics and won a Governor General's Award for her book on her time covering the war in Afghanistan. Blatchford had been undergoing treatment for lung cancer at a Toronto hospital. She died this morning at the age of 68. CTV National News Chief News Anchor and Senior Editor Lisa Laflamme is in studio with us now. It would be nearly impossible to not know who she was when you worked in this industry, but you also knew her personally. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts? Well, I'll tell you, since, the, since we first learned that she was unwell, which she first learned was during the federal election and she was getting off the bus, so the Liberal bus, and she sort of tripped a bit and she started feeling pain and more pain and she went to the doctor and then she said she couldn't stand the taste of coffee. And that's when she knew this isn't a, this isn't a virus, this is an illness. And she found out then that she had cancer, but in fact, the cancer had already gone Spread. too far. And so that was only in October. Mm -hmm. And we all thought, I especially thought, if anybody can fight this, it would be Christy. And um, during just visits with her in the hospital over these last few months, there was always that spark there. She was angry about the cancer. She really wanted to fight this. There was so much more she wanted to do. She, she was planning on a big a murder trial in Ottawa that she was going to be covering, all of these things. And we always talked about the news of the day. Um, right up until the end, this is a woman who never lost her spirit, her humor, mm. and her uh, her fight for, yeah. for getting the truth out right until the end, honestly. And, and I think, I, I just can't even find the words to describe what we have lost in this country. You know, it, I mean, she's so, she was so fierce mm. in her profession because of the passion. <laughs> yeah. I, were, I remember being afraid when I first, yeah. first I think we all were. her the very first time at a story. And I, I think I was definitely afraid, oh, that's Christy Blatchford. And then I had the, what word do I use? The good fortune to be with her in Afghanistan uh, the first time and then subsequently many times. And that's where we became friends. Really, you're, you're, we were outside the wire for two weeks at a time. And uh, I remember one time we hadn't had a shower or been able to wash our hair in 13 days. It was the record. And that op often happens for people who don't realize it. It's far from glamorous yeah. when you're out there covering it. And... Uh, she said there was this cold riverbed in Afghanistan in the middle of the muck, and she said, that's it. We're just going to wash our hair right there in this cold riverbed. And, and honestly, we had so, I have so many great memories of her covering this story, covering our troops, covering the humanitarian side of the war in Afghanistan. Uh, she did it all with such brilliance um, and humor. Yeah. And she was like a bit of a mother hen as well, you yeah. know. She was always, always watching out for younger journalists and for the troops and and the underdog. Mm -hmm. She really was uh, the champion of the underdog. And thinking about what a trailblazer mm -hmm. she was, and I think, you know, I mentioned even in the intro, uh, one of the first female sports reporters. So she wasn't allowed in any locker room and yeah. there was a lot of people that didn't want her covering sports. She did that in, in, in addition to helping young journalists learn how to cover the court system. And that's the thing about Christy, and it's her vis it's always been, it's, it's impossible to talk about her in the past tense, actually, but her versatility. You know, I'd be with her at Olympics since 2000, covering Olympics, or in a war zone, or in a court in Toronto, and the one thing that is like this, this vision I have in my head always is at any major press conference, who was sitting there cross-legged, right in the front, ready to fire off the toughest questions, the smartest questions. We all really followed her example. And, and I really would say I learned so much as a journalist 
but also as a human being, because she was the toughest person. I always said right to her mm -hmm. face, I would never want to be on your Cross you. side, you know? <laughs> and we didn't agree. There was a lot of things we did not agree on, but it, it was never personal with Christy. It's always the, the story and what's, the, what's right for the story to convey the truth. And she is a rare person mm -hmm. in this industry, in this world, I would say. I mean, this is a woman who could write her way out of anything, and then this comes along and yeah. she can't beat it. So quickly. And when we talk about her being so strong and passionate, mm -hmm. and, and I use the term fierce, but at the same time, kind. Yeah. And, and giving, mm -hmm. wanting to help so much in the industry. Yeah. And also just the industry, but also like the best parties in the city of Toronto were at her house <laughs> forever. She just always wanted to bring people together. And, and for her dear close friends who are all mourning today, not willing to go on TV or on radio to, to talk about her, they are all mourning this yeah. tragedy and, and so fast and so quick and... That was the thing. I mean, she didn't want to go. The last time I, I was, she was able to walk mm -hmm. was just a couple of weeks ago. She'd had the knee, the hip surgery, and she had a pin in her leg, and uh, she's walking through the hospital barefoot. You know, just I was like, Christy, can I get you a pair of slippers? Yeah. I don't want slippers. I mean, she just did what she wanted to do, and she did it right till the end. And. We have lost so much, and she was a beautiful soul and such a generous, beautiful person. We sure have. What a big loss. Thank mm. you very much for your thoughts today. Mm. Thanks very much, to Lisa LaFleur. about her. Glad you could come in. Mm.